and welcome to today's Just Chops in Podcast. And with David and myself, we have Jim Bolt, and Jim Bolt is from Preacher Stone. Hello. And Rob Walker, and he is <laughs> from Sons of Liberty. And I figured out that you're both the new members from the bands, I guess, because Jim yeah. came into the band in 2016. Yeah, so somewhere around 2015, 2016, uh, yeah, Marty and uh, Ronnie and the guys had started the band in 08, and they changed a few members along the way, as it seems to do from time to time. And they got got the lock, lock got the lineup locked down for about the last seven years. So it's been the longest running lineup of the band. So we 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 like to think it took them just a little bit to get the get the lineup that they wanted. So okay, and did you actually record on the last album then? Yeah, I was on Remedy. Yeah, with oh, right, uh, okay. the, 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 this lineup. Uh, this lineup is currently working on the second uh, second record with this lineup. The first okay. two, uh, the first two were several different uh, lineups at that time. Okay, cool. And Mr. Walker. Yeah, I um I joined the Suns back in um I think it was March of last year. Yeah. Um, I'd seen them at Rock in the Bowl. Uh, festival, and had a, a bit of t- you know a bit of time to to sort of spend a bit of time with them backstage, and we had a bit of a chat, and it kind of went from there really. Um, it's been it's been a whirlwind to say the least. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it well, I mean we we've had um, Fred and Moose on on the podcast before. I mean, how long ago was that? No, Dave, about a year That's just over a year ago. Yes, definitely over a year. And ago, everything yeah. was going swimmingly, you know, and then all of a sudden. Uh, there was this big fallout with the other Rob, and then yeah, the rest was history. Really, I mean, how how did the fans take to you then, Rob? Um, I'll be honest that you know it's it's been it's been really overwhelming. Um, I think you know that there's been a few occasions where we've been at certain shows and and people have come up and says you know we didn't really know how it was going to work, we didn't know whether you would be the right fit or but. I think after that, and once they see what we do live, and they, I think their perceptions are completely changed. And you know, no disrespect to obviously the old Rob, you know, he he got his own way of doing things, and he's a great vocalist. You know, we we've sort of spoken, um, and we was, you know, I saw him at uh, Southern Uprising Festival. Okay. He was comparing there. I was playing with um, like the band that I play, um, but yeah, it's, it, there's there's two different two different sort of techniques and two different styles. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, th- yeah. I think it works. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say there must be two different dynamics. I mean, um, I, would just, I just heard from Jim then that they were already working on new stuff. Have you got any new stuff in the pipeline then, Rob? Yeah, we've um, we've just been down with uh, Josiah, um, down at Momentum Studios down in Plymouth, um, okay. working on the, the new album. Um, which is really, really exciting, and and some of the stuff that's come out of it already is, it's yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to say the least. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Are you bringing like a sort? Of, do you bring like a different sort of uh, style then to the other Rob? Or I mean, don't um, I don't mean vocally? I mean with your writing and other songs a little bit different? Or yeah, I mean you know the the. The newer stuff that we're working on now, it's all been a, a bit of a collaboration between everybody. So there's no, you know, I'm not the the, the forefront of all the, the the lyric writing. So there's a, a compilation from from every and each and individual sort of member. So yeah, it's it's very similar. Okay, it's, it's got a very similar feel to it. So it's you know the, the fans, the, there's no need to obviously to worry from that side of things that the style's going to change and and we're going to change it. I think mm. it's 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 a very similar similar feel. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because I saw them at um, Winter's End last year up in okay. um, Leamington Spa, and it was a great show. I got to be honest. So I've I've and I've been trawling YouTube to find some live footage of you singing with the guys, and it like you said, it works really well, mate. You've got a great voice, and Thank you. Uh, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to seeing you live. I've got to be honest, should be good, should be good. Yeah, yeah, it's been nothing. It's been nothing but fun so far. Good, um, oh, that's good. I, you know, it's it's it has oh. been a whirlwind. Um, you know, the, the the amount of shows that we've played over the course of, you know, the last sort of. 10, 11 months has, has just been absolutely phenomenal. And, you know, again, the response from the fans, and well, I, I don't like to use the word fans, friends 
should have yeah, said there you go. That's uh, friends and son. the extensions of your band family, if you like. Yeah, exactly. You know, it, it's been it's it has really been overwhelming. It's been such a great experience, and to work with the guys, you know, there's a level of professionalism within the the, the actual band that's that's second to none. And the, I think you know that it's one of the most interesting bands I've worked with so far throughout my career. Okay, oh, good. Good, good. So how, how have you guys sort of got together then to collaborate with this um, headline tour that's being put on in March? How's, how's that come about? <laughs> I blame it all on Freddie. Uh, yeah, I'm got, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean, Rob? No, bro, Freddie and I have been friends on Facebook for a little while. Um, I think the guys in uh, the, the early days of Sons may have, may have covered a Preacher Stone song or two and they would comment on it and uh, got to be friends uh, via Facebook and got to talking and uh, you know uh, I was like man you know we'd love to come over we'd love to come over and uh, Fred was like all right you know let's see let's see how it works out and it's worked out just beautifully and uh, we can't we we can't be more excited I mean it's it's like you know one of those pinch me moments I mean it's just set right up we don't have to sit around and wait on you know the shows to line up i mean they're one right after the other you know these singers are going to catch hell they got to do nine shows in 10 days so yeah. it's going to be yeah. something yeah yeah it's going to be an interesting one that one to be fair for sure yeah no so how are you, for you how, uh, rob no how are you going to rest your voice between the shows then rob no talking or lemon uh, water or what's going to happen man <laughs> plenty of water um this this one's quite an interesting one as well because it's it's the first time that that we're actually going on tour where we've not got the responsibility of driving anywhere. So I think okay. that's gonna that's actually gonna make things a little bit easier because there's a, a lot less stress involved. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know the, the lads will, will, will you know they'll all confirm this as well. But I'm the world's worst for going to sleep in between gigs. I think when we went out with FM. Um, the, the boys had a, uh, a, I think it was about a three and a half hour journey um, in between shows when we went down to the, the, the junction in Plymouth, um, which coincidentally only took me about 20 minutes because I slept for the three hours. <laughs> okay. yeah. well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so do you like a sleep then, Jim? Do or do I? Uh, but, you know, I mean, it's. Uh, I'll leave that up to be seen. I mean, if I've got somebody that I trust behind the wheel, then I'll sleep. But uh, yeah. I'm the world's worst passenger uh, oh, over, here, over, over here in the state. You're, you're talking to the Sprinter driver right now. You know, I'm like, <laughs> no, y'all, y'all, y'all sit back there in the back and shut the hell up and leave me alone. And uh, go, actually, I, I prefer if they go to sleep and leave me alone while I'm driving. But uh, ha- having having Pete and the, and the boys going to be hauling us around for this is going to be pretty nice. And, uh, you know, obviously I was planning out the route or checking out the routing and, uh, you know, I mean, the UK's, I mean, geographically not all that large. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's going to be nothing for us. <laughs> to well, be it honest. Does, I mean, it does know, take a when, while to get everywhere. I mean, cause of the roads, yeah, you know, certainly, certainly. Yeah. But, uh, but as far as the, the amount of distance travel, it's like, you know, I think our longest ride is 250 some kilometers, I believe. And you can't even get out of North Carolina in 250 kilometers. So, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, it's I think it's going to be interesting, and uh, the routing worked out really good, and uh, you know the, the planning and Wes uh, Wes O'Neill has just really knocked it out of the park with all the promotion and everything. It's uh, it's it's a surreal thing. I'm 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 really really excited about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, I, I'm looking forward because I've been looking at the shows now. So the one for me is in the in the Thecla. So I'm uh, I'm definitely going to try and make my way across because. Absolutely. In the UK, we don't we don't travel so far. So fifty miles to us in the UK yeah. is a long way. So uh... we, we've got we've got quite a few <laughs> friends that live over, and I've got talked to. So now I'm like, "Are you kidding? Like, are you kidding, mate? You're you're like seventy five miles from me." I'm like, "Dude, really? I mean, are you kidding me? Do you know how far we're traveling to come over to you? You can't come seventy five miles. We're like, you know, we're, I'll see you in Chesterfield, or I'll see you, you know, in, in Leicester. Or I'll see you know. I'm like, come to all of them, you know, like no, yeah." You know. So it's, yeah, it's well, that's the funny. thing. I mean, seventy-five miles in America is like, yeah. you know, a couple of hours drive. Where yeah. seventy-five miles about, in the UK about, about, an hour, about, about an hour and fifteen minutes, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and in the UK, yeah. it'll take you two, two and a half hours. You know, because <laughs> that's right, right, because the state of the you. roads and not not every Certainly. road is a highway. You know what I mean? Yeah, got gotcha. you. No, I understand completely. Cool. Yeah, no, but now I'm looking forward to it and just seeing seeing it. It's gonna be our first time over, and uh, hopefully not the last. Of course, hopefully the pave the way to, to have many more trips back. 
Yeah, yeah I'm so. sure you guys are going to go down a storm because I've I've been listening to you over the last couple of days and music is brilliant. I mean, I've I've listened to obviously your your um, first album Preacher Stone and then mm-hmm. I've listened to your latest album Remedy and it's class music, man. I love it. It's really, Thank you, really brother. Good. Appreciate it. Yeah, and this next record it's going to be called Preacher Stone Five. Um, a fifth of Preacher Stone, ironically enough. Uh, but uh, we, uh, everybody, like what, what Rob was saying about those guys, everybody's got a hand in writing on, well, it did to, to a certain degree in Remedy, but more so now. And um, the music is just, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be airing some of them live. We've been playing them live before we've actually actually gone in and recorded them and they kind of developed into better songs, so, you know, playing them in front of crowds, seeing how they work, how they don't work and they change and they grow a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be nice. I'm, I, I can't wait for you guys to hear them. Oh, brilliant. No, I look forward to it. Really look forward to it. Have you got any it. sort of release dates for your album yet or? Uh, we'll, we'll be releasing. We're actually going to be finishing it up when we get back. We've still got two to polish off and then it'll be ready, uh, but we'll be dropping a single called damage is done along with a video here within the, actually maybe by the weekend. And then uh, there's another single uh, that we'll be releasing before we come over. So there'll be a several for digital download. Uh, we just, uh, just ran up against time and um, you know, just trying to get everything done because we're going to press vinyl on this one again. And uh, you know, digital download and vinyl is pretty much where it's at and going through the mastering process. You have to do it different for different formats so yeah. um uh, we're leaving it up to leaving it up to the record label on when when they're gonna when they're ready to release it mm. okay and you rob Thanks. oh say that again sorry <laughs> have you got any idea when you're going to be releasing your new stuff um the new i think the new album is set to be the latter end of this year um okay. I think obviously, you know, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done on it and it's not quite finished. Um, whether we end up airing some of those tracks over, you know, over the course of the, the next six months or so is, is is completely down to the lads and, and how they feel about about doing that. Um, but yeah, it's 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 going to be an exciting thing. Are you going to air any of them on tour? <coughs> I'm not going to drop myself in it. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a cop out. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll leave that one down to Fred. Okay. <laughs> Better message Fred quickly. <laughs> I'm not putting my foot in it. I've, I've, I've done that too much in the past. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, I'm you sure go. you will. I'm sure you will, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, you, cool. You've got to give the fans something a little bit different. They want to see you yeah, of course. performing the same stuff uh, year after year, I guess. Yeah, of course. And I mean, to, to be fair, I mean, for me, it's, you know, it's all very, very new to me. Yeah. Um, mm, the, yeah the songs yeah. are still are still fresh and, and you know, they're, they're still really enjoyable to play. And there's, there's certain ones I like playing more than others, obviously. But, yeah. you know, that, that that's that's kind of a, a bit of a saving grace with it on that side of things. Because as I say, you know, only joining them back in March last year, um everything's still quite fresh and it's, it, it has been a, a bit of a baptism of fire. Um, but you know, it, it kind of works. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Cause it, like you said, it's going to be new for me. So, you know, cause the last time I seen him was with the, the um, previous singer. So for me, it's going to be fresh again. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm going to try and make sure yeah. I get up to the Patriot when you're there. And, <laughs> um, definitely want to come over to Thecla as well to see Jim and the boys as well. So I've been looking forward to that. Yeah, the Thecla's going to be a good one. It's an absolutely cracking venue. Yeah. I think it's got to be the worst load in and worst load out of, of any venue ever. <laughs> but yeah. I saw that in your Ronnie's it. interview talking about stairs and all that. Yeah, you, know, you, you did see the, the rider in the bottom. Jim doesn't do stairs, right? You know, so, <laughs> <laughs> no, man, they, they were talking about that on, on another interview I saw from the guys. So are you going to be doing... Uh... The same for them then, Jim. I mean, they've got you coming over the tour with them. Are they going to be coming over the tour with you? Me, me and I've been talking with Freddie about trying to get over for some dates because obviously setting up a run like this in the states is it's, a, it's an undertaking, uh, and in the least because the shows are so far widespread, it takes you know weeks unless you've got uh, 
unless you've got somebody behind it. But there, there are there are several runs of festivals that would be within, like, say, two weeks of each other, like four or five festivals that we're trying mm-hmm. to trying to to work out. But yeah, there's definitely going to be some reciprocation on that end because they mm-hmm. these guys have worked their ass off to get us over there. And uh, I mean, you know, it's uh, it's it's uh, it mean, means the world to us. So if we could if we pay it back, we we absolutely will. Yeah, oh, that'd be yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, our, people, our, our people would love it. I mean, they are. We we spread them around anyway. Um, even if we weren't doing this tour, we share, you know, Sons of Liberty stuff, and uh, and yeah, our our our, uh, our our Southern rock fans uh, dig it. I mean, you know, what's not mm. to dig? It's it's yeah. just damn good rock and roll, man. You know. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah, it's great. Show that one. Yeah, coming from a real Southern rocker. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we 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 we, we, li- we listen to Sons of Liberty in the van. Yeah, we listen to you know. Dirty Honey in the van. We listen to Georgia Thunderbolts in the van, and all these are current bands that are doing well. The music that we all grew up on in the South. I mean, it's not Southern rock really to us. It's just rock and roll, and yeah. all the guys sound like rednecks like me. So you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess, yeah. I, I kind, kind of is what it is. You know, they're like, well, hey, that's, hey, that's, great a of, that's the first brummy redneck that you'll ever meet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, it, it just is what it is, and uh, you know, it's 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 good rock and roll, and it's still being made. And uh, and yeah, everybody talking about how rock rock is dead, or this particular music is dead because Skinner's no longer touring as much in the original black foot's not together and hey man you know you know open up open up open up a computer just google preacher stone we're, we're out there dude google yeah. sons of liberty they're out there man you know don't uh, just because it didn't it wasn't printed in the 70s doesn't mean that it's not good rock and roll oh yeah, yeah. that's true yeah sure yeah. yeah yeah a lot of these old rockers seem to get their heads stuck in the sand sometimes don't mm-hmm. they well, I mean, you know, it, we tour with a lot, with a lot of our of our heroes or have done shows with a lot of our heroes. And some guys are just phoning it in and resting on laurels. Uh, but then you've got, I mean, you know, Henry Paul and the Outlaws, they'll still hurt your damn feelings. Back when Charlie Daniels was still alive and his band, he gets <laughs> his, his original band together, you know, and those cats are, you know, like my father's age and they, they would hurt your feelings. They're so damn good, man. They weren't, yeah. they weren't phoning in anything. You know, but you know, you know who they are. I mean, you, you get to see them and it's great hearing the hits and great hearing the songs, but it's also too, does my heart well, you know, being, you know, uh, at my age, seeing guys that are 20 years older than me still out there, just absolutely kicking ass, mm-hmm. you know, it, it, it's there to be done. And, uh, and so make, make, makes me positive for the future. Sure. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So is this going to be the first time that you're going to meet each other physically as well when you come over yes. to the come over to the yeah. uk yeah, yeah, yeah cool. absolutely yeah yeah i've said cool. yeah we, we, we've talked to freddie over zoom and uh wes over zoom and moose and a couple of them just trying to get this stuff together and end up talking you know over several beers it's like like we're hanging in the same room together you know and uh, yeah. we, we can already tell we're going to get along great with these guys brilliant oh it's cool so have you got like a, a big tour bus that you're going to share or will you be driving around in a couple of sprinters or yeah i think they've they've, they've lined us up with somebody uh, i don't know if you can probably speak more to it rob than me but uh the company that we're using has two different uh smaller buses and they'll be in one and we'll be in another one but we'll be you know running caravan all across the uk ah, right cool. okay yeah yeah just because you're going to be together yeah, it's, 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 for, for as i say for us you know it's, it's going to be an interesting one to to not have that stress of you know, so traveling between the gigs i mean we did the the run of of gigs with um the guys in uh grand slam yeah. and you know, it was a great tour. Um, we, we we had a great time and it, it was a blast. But I think, you know, it, it does take its toll on you when you're, you know, you're having to, to sort of get up the next morning and, and then um, concentrate on driving. And, it, you, you know, it, it does get stressful. You know, the, these guys from, from Preacherstone, hearing from what Jim was just saying, it actually makes me feel a whole lot better about the thing now. It's like 75 yeah. miles just to get outside of, of, of you know, the, the, the town. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, no doubt, man. But no, it is. I mean, we we drive, I mean, we, we, we have a bus we use from time to time over here. But, I mean, when you've got three or four days, it's really hard to, to justify the fuel cost uh, yeah. to take a bus, you know. So we, I mean, we've got a, we've got a good size sprinter and a, and a trailer, and we – <laughs> that, now that now that thing that thing will go up and down the road wherever the hell we want it to go you know so uh, and um that's that's usually kind of how it is and you know there's no no use to pay out the nose just to act like a rock star we mm-hmm. go we go to play music so 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, hopefully, you know, that the tour goes really, really well, which I expected to. And then you guys can come back over and hit some of the festivals over here as well. Uh, that, that's the game plan. Festivals. Yeah. You, yeah. You guys are super duper festivals. So I see the list of who's playing and it's just like, you know, because, you know, I've talked to Freddie about this, about how they like a lot of the Southern rock bands and everything. Mm. But, you know, we, we, we grew up listening to Thin Lizzy. You know, we grew up, you know, all of our heroes came from over there. Like I was saying uh, to another fellow, even if it wasn't, Steve Harris from Iron Maiden, I wouldn't be playing bass guitar. So yeah. every, all of my all of my bass heath in Twistle and everybody, they're from over there. So, yeah. yeah, you know this is this is a, this is a really a, this is really an interesting time uh, for for the guys at Preacher Stone. We're just uh, we can't wait for it to come out. We got several shows uh, in the states before we go over, but we're it's like ah, cancel those. We're going to the UK. Let's go. We, we, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting by the door with my bags back and my bass on my back, you know, and ready to go. So we're we're super excited. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, it won't be long then. Won't be long. Mm. So the first, the first date is in the Feckler, isn't it? The twenty second of yeah, March. Twenty second. Um, yeah, we start twenty yeah. second. Yeah, yeah, and play, play. Get to get the get the following Monday off. It's the only day we got to get, get off, and then play up through the uh, through the end uh, of the. We'll be flying back on uh, on on April Fool's Day. So right. we hope we hope, right, uh, we, okay. hope every, we hope everything works out well. Yeah, which well, I'm I think sure it will. will. Yeah, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Because I've, I've had a look at some of the venues you're going to, and you're going to some really, really good venues in the UK, so you should have a should have a real blast. I'm looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, there's definitely some great stops on the on the tour. Um, yeah. Yeah, the, the sort of standout ones, well, they're all they're all great venues, but, you know, going back up to, to Scotland and, and sort of doing um, the whole Scotland side of things, and then Trillions in, in Newcastle, mm. another great venue. Yeah. And we've had nothing but but you know, great experiences from all of these venues. So it's it's going to be a real special thing to go back with the guys in Preacherstone and and you know to hit these venues real hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you yeah, I, yeah. I hope the venues are ready. So it's because it's going to be a damn good one, man. We're we're we're, <laughs> we're super super excited. So yeah, hopefully good. you'll uh, you'll make some memorable tour stories then. No, I'm sure. I'm sure I mean, we will. Have, yeah. you got, have you got any you could tell us from past tours? <laughs> I think we were doing, road, I think we're, stays on the road. Exactly. I think we were kind of discussing it off the off the thing, waiting on Rob to come. But yeah, last time we were in Europe, we had big fun. Uh, but like I said, uh, where where you're at over in uh, over in the Netherlands, uh, yeah, I, I, we just kind of I'm, I'm I've had to sign paperwork to where we don't we don't even cross the border anymore to get into Netherlands. So you know, <laughs> it's, uh, it, 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 it is po- it is possible to fall out of a cab upstairs and bruise your armpit we'll just leave it right there <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no no more shall be said yeah yeah i don't blame you man especially when you're falling around amsterdam it can be a bit of a crazy yeah. place at yeah times. it is co- co- cobblestones will reach up and trip you we'll just leave it right there they yeah will, yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. so um have any of you guys got any like hobbies outside of the bands or hobbies um sure i mean you know motorcycles uh <laughs> definitely yeah, that's that's I mean, a must it's yeah the only form I mean, of therapy that you can buy that, that that's not as expensive as actually buying therapy <laughs> yeah he's exactly right i don't know um, it depends on motorbike you ride <laughs> well yeah i suppose <laughs> You know, but I mean, you know, like you know, we do do everything that we do in the South. We hunt, we fish, we uh, you know, we do we do the thing, and uh, but playing music's uh, pre- pretty much uh, the the happiness that's in my life. So yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. How, how, when I get away from music, I, I go and record music, or I go play more music, or listen to music. So, yeah. <laughs> are you like both Harley riders, or I mean, typical? Stereotype. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, no, not necessarily stereotype. I mean, I, I, I prefer, I prefer, you know, a, a, a nice, a nice Bonneville Triumph as well. So, okay, I mean, yeah, you know, nice bike. it's, uh, yeah, you know, just uh, mm. whatever or dirt bikes, uh, not just street bikes, you know. Yeah, yeah dirt bikes are good for. You know, it's. I grew. I grew. I had. I had a. I had a. I had a, had a motorcycle growing up before I even had a bicycle. You know, yeah, an old yeah. Indian Indian dirt bike when I was a kid. So it was a. You know, that's um. You know, this, in, the, in, the, in the south, that's the way. That's what you did. You know, you played played baseball, you rode motorcycles, and you got in fist fights, and that's yeah. kind of how we grew up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. I mean, you're probably around the same age as me. So uh, yeah, mm. we grew up the same way. I mean, I grew up with motorbikes, and uh, there you go. Start yeah, off man. with dirt bikes, obviously, as you do when you're a kid. 
I think yes. Yamaha new... DT. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. DT one two five. Yeah, I, well, go, I had yeah. the DT fifty when I was when I was a baby, and then I moved up to the DT one two five liquid cooled. They were great go. fun. And then we were just went on from there, really. But I did have an actual. I did have a Triumph Thunderbird in the shed. Mm. Well, that was the last, last bike I owned was a, a Triumph, the nine five five um, okay. ST Sprint. All right, yeah, it was the last one I owned, um, and that 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 was an amazing bike, very heavy. Yeah, I dropped it. I actually remember dropping it one day, and I had to go and knock my next door neighbour up because I couldn't pick it up on my own. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, if see, you see, uh, yeah, if you see a if you see a brother drop a bike, drop a bike, you just go help him pick it back up. So, yeah, oh, always. Cool. Yeah, that's it. Because everybody that rides one's laid one down, just standing still. Yeah, yeah just oh, down, down it goes. You know? Yeah, <laughs> this um, happens to the best of us. Yeah, yeah done my fair share of that as well. Absolutely. And you always see photographs of Moose with his uh, Aprilia on the internet and. And his his lovely pink wheels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, I don't know if he's <laughs> got a couple of bikes, is he? Yeah, I think he's got. Um, I think he's got a couple now. I think he's got it just bought um, a BMW thing as well. Oh, right, okay. Um, but one of the older ones, I think it was. Um, but really nice looking bike. If I remember rightly, it's a, uh, it's a big thirteen hundred thing. I think. Oh, is it? I can't, I can't remember what he did show it me, and I can't. I'll be honest, I yeah. can't remember what it was. Yeah, I know most likes his bike. So <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah. But yeah. I think, so yeah, what we're gonna do? I think we should do. Gonna sort something out. I think we should do like a competition question. What do you reckon, Dave? Yeah, let's do it. So it can be it can be nothing too difficult, but nothing too easy. Go on, Dave. You're good with these competition questions. Um, I don't know. The only things I can think of are quite easy, really. It'd be like their their album name or something like that, maybe, or perhaps where they recorded the um, Aces and Eights album. Yeah, that'd, yeah, that'd, that'd, like be, that. that'd be quite a good one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So where did Sons of Liberty record? Aces and Eights album. So, have you got any messages you want to give to your fans? I'm sure, I'm sure Jim's got plenty of fans. No, oh, no, yeah, Preacher Stone has lots and lots of fans. I was actually a Preacher Stone fan when they found me and Ben, the other guitarist. So, yeah, I had talking about joining a band that Rob was speaking to earlier. Um, you know, it was it was quite intimidating to join these guys and uh, go. And your your first couple of shows are you know uh, a big rock cruise with you know with some of the big heavy hitters and you know we we did like a week-long run for full throttle saloon in myrtle beach for a big bike thing and you know you got you know the guys from jackal and the guys from blackberry smoke walking around and it's like oh mm -hmm. am i in the am i in the right place so but yeah come to, <laughs> come to come to find out i was in exactly the right place so yeah it worked out really well so you got over your imposter syndrome pretty quickly then? I guess. Yeah, well, I'm just a big fan. I mean, I'm as big a music fan as anybody. You know, I see yeah. some of these guys that I've got. I mean, we were, we were actually standing in line at the buffet for breakfast one morning on a Leonard Skinner cruise. And I'm, I'm standing behind Ray Wiley Hubbard. And I'm, I'm talking to my wife who's with us. That's, that's Ray Wiley Hubbard right there. And he was like, yeah, man, he's an asshole. He turned out he's talking about <laughs> himself. And we ended up having breakfast. He's just, just a super, super guy, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's quite good. surreal sometimes as well. When you, you know, you, you, yeah. you find yourself in those those sort of situations. I mean, we played um, Rainsfest uh, over in France last year. Um, I think it was August, October, August, September time. Um, and to be stood there and you look to your right and there's the guys from the choir boys and then you've got Grand mm -hmm. Slam. And then in front of you, you've got Justin Hawkins from The Darkness. I'm like... Am, am I meant to be here? <laughs> <laughs> Little old me? No, it's, it's, yeah. it seems wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's great. Well, that's it. know, I'm great, waiting great on thing. somebody to come up and jerk my backstage pass off and go, you're supposed to be out in the crowd, kid. You know, something like that. <laughs> well, if you, I mean, if you're paying your dues and you're putting the work in, yeah. I mean, you deserve it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that's sure, basically yeah. what it comes down to. You've got to, there's something to be said about staying in the game and being consistent and, uh, you know, being accessible to your fans and being, you know, trying to trying to work as much as you possibly can. I mean, you know, the days of the, the big album, you know, the big, you know, record deal and the whole thing and all, you know, <laughs> basically playing live is where it's at for us anyway. I mean, we, we obviously offer the albums uh, for sale, but uh, we want we want folks to buy the albums to come see the show, you know, mm -hmm. and that's that's where we that's where we live and breathe is live on stage. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you actually, you mentioned about your albums coming out on vinyl. Will you always be coming out on vinyl, Rob? Uh, we've already got um, a couple that, that are already pressed on vinyl. Um, the new the album. Aces and Eights. The, no, the Aces and Eights is, is already on um, Yeah, I know the Aces vinyl. and Eights. But will your new album be on vinyl as well? Um, I, think, I think there's been some talk about um, getting another run of them pressed for, for the new one. Um, but again, uh, you know, I can't, I can't confirm or, or, or deny whether that's going to happen or not. Um, you know, the, 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 I think there's a lot of cost implications that go along with it as well, and oh. whether the, the the fans are willing to pay, you know, the, the kind of money that, that you have to charge now for for vinyl just to even mm. make it viable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe you would do like a crowdfunding. Well, sure, they do. Me, all my, I don't play any of my vinyl, so all the vinyl I buy goes on my wall. So um, I, I get a sign for the band and it goes yeah. up on the wall. That's what a lot of folks are doing. That's why if you buy, you know, uh, the, the Remedy album on vinyl, you know, it comes with a digital download card. I mean, you're going to have the music on your iPhone or on your, on your iPad or whatever. But, uh, you know, but you also, if you're, I mean, there's a lot of folks that spend vinyl over here now. I mean, it's a big business. So, but the call, like Rob was saying, the cost to, uh, of pressing mm. vinyl hasn't gotten any cheaper. It's just gotten more, you know, eclectic, you know, now. Yeah. So, you know, I guess it's become a niche market where it's like, oh, okay, well, yeah, well, we're doing vinyl. We're cool, you know. But yeah, yeah. so it's $50 for a record. <laughs> it's like, yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. people will pay it as well, mine, in fairness. I think, you know, because sure. like for me, I, 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 I'll collect it and I won't play it. But then you get I, the other, you get the connoisseurs. Then they like the crackle and the sound, and they'd yeah. rather they'd rather hear it on the vinyl, wouldn't they? So they will play it as well. So well, I, I was like that when we first got it. I, they gave us all a test pressing, and I took it home, and that's why I was like, "There's not enough popping. It's too clean." I'm gonna, you know, so I was wanting to hear it pop and crack. You know, it's like like the old days. Put on some headphones and crank it wide open. You know. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. Run a bit that's of sandpaper good. over it. I'll sort that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. The cats to play with for half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't leave it on your parcel shelf in your car because it'll get ruined. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but before before you come on, Rob, you were saying to um, Jim about getting used to the British weather. So I said he's oh, coming over God. in March. So expect rain. Nice pack of Mac, couple of layers. What do you reckon, mate? Rain, snow, hail, sunshine, <laughs> wind, <laughs> ev- everything that you could possibly think of. That's just in one day. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, yeah that's, 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 that's like, it's like January 24th in uh, North Carolina. I get it because, I mean, it's like it's been the most miserable way. Like, it'll get up to, to 60 degrees Fahrenheit here today, but then it'll be 23 degrees tonight. And everything will be iced over in the morning because it's all it's been doing is raining. But now that's why I was going to try to stand outside and do it because we've got a beautiful blue sky out here behind me. But it's all, all of a sudden now the wind and here comes the clouds again. So, you know, it's, it's yeah, we're used to it. It'll be fine. <laughs> as yeah, long as our yeah, drivers can handle it. That's what that's all I'm worried about. <laughs> yeah, uh, the drivers are used to it. It'll oh, yeah, be fine. It'll be fine. That's it. <laughs> all right, cool. All right. Thanks for joining us, guys. Yeah, it's hey, great. Man, it's pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah, thank and, you for uh, taking your time. Yeah, good luck with everything. Thank you. Fantastic. Hope the tour goes really, sure. really well for you. I'm sure it's going to be a fun one. I yeah. hope the new music comes out and is uh, received just just as well. So uh, Thank you so much for having us, man. It's just a shame that you don't have it to go out on tour with, that's all. Yeah. I, I'm sure I'm sure we'll we'll hear some of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah definitely well, so you, you'll, you'll definitely hear some from Preacher Stone and there'll be a couple available for download. But, uh, you know, yeah. good, good thing good thing for us is no, no, nobody nobody's really heard our, heard our stuff over there so it's all new to them anyway so that's, yeah, that's, that's great yeah yeah for sure yeah yes yeah, said it so, i've got it i've given the well the first the first uh the first album and the, the last album of spin and it's cracking really really good i'm loving thank it you. So, the, uh, the, the other the other two that are in the middle of that are, are really good as well uh marty and ronnie uh put together some hellacious records and like i said i was a huge fan when they hired me so um we're uh, we, we've been getting on famously since then yeah, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. I'll be up the front. There you go. There. Come on. Perfect. <laughs> Definitely. For sure. And I'll, right. uh, I'll tap Fred up later on and make sure he plays a couple of new ones as well. <laughs> yeah, put the, uh, put, put, the, put the pokers on. I will. <laughs> yeah. I will. <laughs> All right. Cheers, boys. Yeah, it's great stuff. Thank nice you for coming on. We uh, appreciate it, guys. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Wish you all the success. All the yeah, success. See you soon. Take care. See you soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye.
see.